Hi, today we are going to talk about collecting insects. To get a really up close and personal look at insects, you have to go out on an insect search and collect them. Some of you may want to collect them for a, an insect collection to keep. Some of you might want to build yourself a shadow box with a beautiful butterfly that you caught. Or others might want to just collect them, look at them up close, study them, and let them go. So insects move in different ways and that might affect the way that you search for them. Some insects like grasshoppers, crickets, they're jumping insects. Others are crawling insects like an ant or a beetle. And other types of insects may dig into the ground. Other insects fly like butterflies and that sort of dragonflies, those sorts of insects. So you wanna use different type of equipment to collect and different types of traps to collect insects. So a few of the essential pieces of equipment that you need to take with you when you you are going out into the field to try to collect insects are these. Number one is we need some type of net to collect your insect. So we have a net or you can also set a trap. Uh, we are going to show you a different type of pitfall trap and we've, we're also going to show you in another lesson a butterfly trap. So you need some type of net or trapping device so that you can collect them. You need a backpack or a field bag that carries all of your equipment with you. You also need a collecting jar. So we use at Gardner Camp just a clear tennis ball container so that we can see through and see the bugs that we collect. So this is our collecting jar. If you're going to preserve your insects in an insect collection, we also have these airtight killing jars. So these actually you would put some type of um, fingernail polish remover, remover or some type of chemical in here that would actually immediately kill the, bu the bug or insect that you, that you are collecting so that you can preserve it later in your bug collection. You also might want to bring with you a hand lens or a small little magnifying device so that you can study your insects closer. And you also want to take with you an insect identification guide. That could be a book. It can also be your, be your phone. A lot of times there's a lots of different apps like iNaturalist where you can take pictures of your bugs and they can help you identify, the app actually helps you identify the insect that you've collected. So let's dive a little bit deeper into the types of nets. So again, different bugs move in different ways. So there are different types of nets that you can use. One type of net that we use a lot here at Gardner Camp is an aquatic net. So this here is an aquatic net. So we use it here in our wetland to, to uh, catch different aquatic bugs that are in our wetland areas. But you can see it kind of has a D frame. So this flat, this flat part of the frame will go right down to the bottom of your pond or your stream, whatever you're collecting insects in. It also has this really tough canvas uh, material around the frame and then a mesh type material that allows the water to flow out and your insects to be trapped inside your net. So this is an aquatic net. We also use a, this is called, it's, it's actually a modification of a sweep net and an aerial net both. So a traditional sweep net um, is something that you would sweep over the top of tall vegetation. And the actual sweep net is made of a, a stronger canvas material. So you actually beat it up against a plant and you flip it over and trap those insects inside your sweep net. Now an aerial net is just that. It is a net that you would use. It's a little more fragile. It's kind of like this mesh material. It's a little more fragile and it is something that you don't touch on any other plants because it can get snagged really easily. But an aerial net is used to catch butterflies that are flying through the air, any type of flying insect. So at Gardner Camp we have some uh, this type of a sweep net or an aerial net. It's kind of a little bit of both. This is just a basic insect collection net for kiddos, uh, but works well for us. So we also want to talk about where to collect insects. 
So right now, I am standing in a large clover field. So insects and butterflies and all types of bugs like to go where there's nectar and where there's pollen and food sources. So behind me, you can see hundreds and thousands of clover blooms. And about this time of year is when the clover is blooming. So you will see all different types of butterflies and insects out here in a taller grass or a taller clover field. So that's one place that you can go to look um, for insects. Another place you could go is a woodland area. So we could go into a woodland and find totally different types of bugs. You can set different types of traps in there. You can go with your net and you can find all different types of things. You can look under dead logs. You can look on, t on trees. So you'll find different types of insects in that habitat. Also, we've had really good luck if you go out to a mud puddle. So wherever there's some type of a water source, you'll find lots of, of butterflies and insects coming to drink. And there you can collect different types of insects as well. So we've talked about different types of nets that we can use for collecting. You can also use different types of traps. And what I've got here, and we're sitting in our pollinator plot, what we've got here is a pitfall trap. So what it was was just a container, just a um, several inches tall so that um, bugs can't crawl out of it. I dug a hole and I placed it in inside the hole. Now you wanna make sure that your pitfall trap is completely level with the ground um, so that bugs can crawl along and then drop right into your pitfall um, trap. So what I did is I put in uh, a little bit of rotting um, banana in here just as some bait for this pitfall trap. I left it overnight and here today I can see a few different things. I have lots of different tiny crawling beetles in there. I've got lots of different ants. And a spider just crawled out. Now is a spider an insect? What do you guys think? Is it? A spider has eight legs and insects have six legs. So a spider is closely related. It's an arthropod, but it is not in the class Insecta. So we've got little beetles crawling around in here. We've got, I saw a cricket in there earlier somewhere, but this is basically what you're gonna find in a pitfall trap. Uh, ground crawling beetles, lots of different ants, um, and maybe some along um, the ground. So this again is a pitfall trap.